thanks for watching City Lights on Novus TV. I'm your host, Tina Love Green, and today we're getting a private tour of the upcoming exhibition at UBC's Museum of Anthropology. And walking us through the collection is the curator himself. Well, I'm here with Orlando Hernandez, poet, writer, independent art critic, contemporary art curator, and the curator of this exhibition. So, Orlando, tell me about the intention, the purpose of bringing all these pieces together. In the case of the artists, the artists want that the people see their work as a piece of art, no? of course. But as a curator, the curator always has another kind of intention. Now, I have to be sincere in this. Uh, so uh, we have to uh, put together a group of art that reflect different themes in this African legacy in Cuba. One of them is to show that in Cuba there are a lot of African religion that is still alive and where uh, belong a lot of uh, population, both black, um, mestizo, or, or mixed uh, race, and white, uh, that uh, came from different places from Africa during the slavery time. Because Cuba is a socialist country, many people think that every, everybody doesn't have any religion. No, no, in Cuba there are a lot of people who believe in different religions, most of them in Afro-Cuban religion. So it is important that the people know that this religion is full of meaning. It's not a witchcraft or something. It's full of meaning and tradi cultural tradition. It's a recipient of cultural tradition as well. This is one theme. The other theme is the races, also present here, and all related with the race matter. It's the color of the skin that is different from the white, and all these appear in the Cuban contemporary art. And the third line of uh, thematical line is the input of the Cuban in the African military process in the 70s and 80s in Angola specifically. No? The war of Angola affects many Cubans. Many Cubans die in the uh, war of Angola. No? So this, we have to show this through the beauty as well and the well done uh, work of the artist. So the collection here is a self-portrait of the artist. Mm -hmm. And um, what theme is she trying to portray in her photographs here? In this case, it's a religious theme. She's, represent two different Afro-Cuban religions, Palo Monte and uh, Orichas, or uh, Regla de Ocha, uh, or Santeria, that is also seen. In this case, it's a scratch, uh, it's a back with a scratch that he's uh, done uh, in the back of the initiate in this religion. And in this case, is uh, the representation of the Oricha de Legua. Uh, that is a Oricha that open or close the, the paths. So Orlando, tell me a bit about this piece right here. Well, this is a painting by Jose Vedia, that is a Cuban artist uh, that have worked in different thematic uh, lines. Uh, one of them, the most important, was the religious themes, because he belonged to the Afro-Cuban religion as well. Uh, but at the same time, ha he have uh, painting some work related with the input of Cubans, of the Cuban population in the war in Angola in the 70s and 80s. So where he was uh, involved in a way in a mission, in a cultural mission. So he visit Angola in that time as a soldier. No? So uh, this painting is related exactly with this moment because he don't realize in that moment why he's in Angola, because he, why, he want to know about the native in Angola, because he studied anthropology. He can be shot in the war and die. Uh, so he's, he say, the war is Yakas, is the title of the city. How full I was to go to, to, go to a place to, uh, that I don't know uh, what happened there, no? or something like that. So Orlando, what is the artist trying to say in this painting? This is a painting by Roberto Diago Durruti, a young artist that is coming to Vancouver very soon. Uh, and this is a very strong commentary on racism, because he's a black man as well. 
So the translation of the, in, in English of this uh, message is Spain, that was the uh, country who, uh, which uh, colonized our country, Cuba, uh, give my God back, you see, to return my God, that right. you put instead, and you put instead my orichas, the uh, Catholic uh, saint. You know? And the other message uh, in below say, it's uh, difficult not to be a man, but to be a black man. She says related with the suffering of the black population in Cuba and everywhere in the world, you know, at, at, because the race races. So it's a strong commentary inside the contemporary Cuban art related with races, against the races. This unique exhibition is open May 2nd till November 2nd, so that gives you plenty of time to explore the ties that link the histories and cultures of Cuba and Africa. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Tina Lovegreen.